Hey you guys and welcome back to another reading. I hope that you guys are dressed and well on today. Let's see what is going on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Or whenever you are seeing this message, okay, there could be something in here for you. Okay, you guys. I feel like you're just like you have been doing such a great job. I want to keep telling you, you're doing so wonderful. As far as you know, taking care of yourself, your home, your family, things like that. You're doing a great job, okay? So don't be feeling down or whatever. I know you can get in those moods sometimes, but overall, I'm not seeing, you know, that you're going back to any old habits, any old people, any old places, old things, stuff like that. I don't see you returning back to that stuff, so that's great, right? Yeah, you have grief. So you could be going through something right now. This could be a lost purpose, but I'm not feeling like you know, um, you lost somebody. I feel like it's just something that's, it was a hit or miss anyway. It's just like, well, whatever. I can't do anything about it now. You dig a root screw, you guilt and then purpose. Somebody is like wanting you to, like somebody wants you to take blame for something that you're not even responsible for or something like that. I don't know why I keep picking it up. It's like somebody keeps trying to persecute you. Persecute you for what? You haven't done anything to be persecuted. Like, you haven't done anything to be crucified or anything like that. I just feel like somebody is very envious of you and your journey or something. I feel like you may have even started out in the same space as someone. Like, let's say the hood. You know, you may have grown up in the hood with somebody. And this person is, like, still here wondering how you're getting something and they're not. I feel like because you're putting in the work. That's how I feel. I feel like you're putting in work. Somebody even wants to get hostile with you. This person is even, you know, thinking of... And it's, see, for a lot of y'all, I said the hood because that's what I'm hearing. But it could be anything. Like, oh, we both started out as a cashier. How are you now a supervisor? Like, we've been here the same time. How are you a supervisor and I didn't get promoted or something like that? It's just always in a, a comparison energy. And you're so abundant, blossoming abundance. And you have patience, hostility, and victory here. So, like I feel, somebody, like, they want to fight, pick a fight with you. Or this could just simply be spiritual warfare. I feel like somebody keeps raging war on you. Like, whoever you are, this is, like, constantly every single day there is nothing that's going to change this because somebody is also broke simple path the angel of balance reverse somebody is also broke as hell i feel like y'all don't y'all done been broke before like anybody can get rich anybody can go broke that's how i feel about it and it's like somebody they don't want to take accountability for something uh, Take accountability for what you're doing and what you're not doing. You have the same 24 hours as somebody else. I just, I don't get this. Like, it's like somebody is just sitting around feeling sorry for themselves while you're over here healing. You could have walked away from something. You're not taking any action towards someone. I feel like you appreciate the fact that God has rescued you from a situation. You dig a rich cue and you're not going back to it. Like, okay, God delivered me from this abusive man or this woman. I'm gone. I'm not coming back. God delivered me from addiction. I'm gone. I'm not going back. God delivered me from gang stalking and things like that. I'm gone. I'm not coming back. Like, God delivered you. You're not going back to something. And it's point blank period. Maybe somebody wants you to come back somewhere. You're just not going to do that. The thinking woman reverse, you're not even thinking of it. Like, yeah, no, that's not what I'm going to do. I, that's the furthest thing from my mind. The furthest thing from my mind is going back to something that damn near killed me. What I said, child? Somebody named Kilo. Or it's something here about Keloids. Like, I'm getting sick feeling like my stomach is turning. Of course, it would be turning when this person shows up. This man, whoever the fuck this is. Like, this man holding the heart, man holding the coin, thinking, man, this man disgusts me. Like, I don't know who this could be to you. Like, I felt deceit. Ugh. Like, what are you doing? If whoever the fuck this is, this is a major part, like, of something that's going on in your world. This person will not stop attacking you. It's like every day. Every day they're after you for something. And it's kind of strange. Like, seriously, it's, this person will not give up. Archangel Michael is here going to slay this person. Like, for sure. 
Ugh. Like when I tell you my stomach is turning, I'm getting physically sick. I feel physically sick because of this person's energy. And it's like they are so disgusting. Somebody is just disgusting. Their energy is disgusting. The things that they've done and the things that they're willing to do is very disgusting. I'm going to just tell you that right there, the truth of rule. I'm also picking up like jar work, like somebody keeps on constantly doing jar work. If this person is not doing the work themselves, they definitely have someone doing it. And that's the truth of rule. They have somebody doing jar work on you. And I mean jars like of shit, feces, urine, whatever, from a cat, a dog, maybe even from human. Like this, this person is dirty. It's a nasty ass individual here. And I feel like it's a man. Also, it's a feminine energy here too. It's something here about drainage, like um, something could be going on with someone's sinuses or someone has like an abscess or something has to be drained out. That's what I'm picking up. But this, whoever this person is, they're nasty. This person has some very nasty energy on them and around them, within them, staying your ground. You could have stood up to somebody as well. You could have said, look, like I said, I'm not going back to that. I'm not coming back here. You might want me at this job. I don't want to work here anymore. You mistreated me while I was there. So, you know, you should have taken advantage of the fact when I was there, you should have treated me like I was a human being. I'm here and treat me like somebody by team. You have passion ignited. So there's a new spark. I keep picking up this Ace of Wands, like whoever you is. I keep picking up this Ace of Wands energy. It's like this newfound energy that you have, this newfound confidence or whatever this is and whatever you're doing. I feel like you've been doing this for a long time. You didn't choose something you were chosen. You just answered the call. You didn't choose to be this mogul or whatever this is. But I feel like if you, I heard Angier, Angier or Angela or Andrew or something like that. If you had a choice, obviously you would choose to be great, right? But I'm just saying like, whatever this is specifically that you're doing, I don't feel like you just chose to do something. Like you were scared stepping out into something and over time you built confidence because you have love. Yeah, the temptation card. Over time, you build up your strength. Over time, you build up your capacity. Especially, I heard you have thick skin. Like, when people talking crap or whatever the case is, like, you've built things up over time. And this is why you're successful or why you will be successful. Movement choices and decisions. You're going to have to have a, a major, major just talk with God, I feel, about where you should move and how you should move next. You dig it, Rush? You for real. Like, this is a serious talk that you need to have with the Lord. Like, some of y'all, you talk to God, but you need to go, like, truly within. And I know I'm guilty of that, too. You know, um, talk to my dad very briefly throughout the day. But it's like, you need to sit down and have a, like, a real talk with God. Because, like, something is going on and it's like you're not paying attention. But that's what someone wants you to do. They're trying to take you off your path. They don't want you to know that something is slowly but surely settling. Universe, like something that they're doing or they're wanting it to slowly but surely settle okay yeah something is slowly but surely growing so i'm picking up roots patience and planning somebody put roots on you or something or they're attempting to do this now and this is somebody that's in the shadow this is somebody that is not leaving your energy somebody just does not want you to be who you are and they're going to do whatever they can do to make that not happen and that's just who this person is. They're a destiny fucking thief. I feel like a lot of people have lost their lives around this person. A lot of people have never accomplished shit around this person. Anytime someone is involved with this individual, this individual holds them back. And it's point blank, period. Because this person has not accomplished shit in their life. Like, they're literally a bum. They're a loser. Foundation and achievements. But it's like, they're a bum that's living off of stolen shit. That's a bum to me. You're a bum. Like, you steal people's shit. You steal people's inheritance. You steal their shit. You try to become them or something like that. You're a bum. You don't have a real personality. And that's who this person is. You, know, you don't know who they are, but you know who they are. Like, you know who this person is, maybe by their name. But as far as, you know, I don't feel like this person has a soul. I don't feel like they have a spirit for real. I feel like different spirits dwell within this person's body. But as far as them having a soul and a spirit to, you know, recognize, I don't think so. You would have to literally call them by the demon that they are. They chakra. It's a lot of cleansing here. I'm seeing that needs to be done or you're doing a lot of cleansing. 
somebody named Lindsay or Lynn. Lynn Toler is significant. That's a judge, right? Power in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's power. They don't have any power truly. So when people are powerless, they resort to shit like this. Like when people don't have any true power, they resort to doing stuff like this all the time. It's nothing new. And I feel like more people are just catching on like, oh, okay, so that's what you did or that's what you're trying to do. I don't think so. Yup. This is like, whoever you are, you have been being oppressed for years. I mean, this is so long. Been so long. <laughs> yeah, danger. It's dangerous around here, this motherfucker, for real. Somebody don't know the danger that they're in. They're not chakra, but I feel like you see it coming. You already spoke some type of, you know, ending for someone. <laughs> like, you already done spoke something, and it's coming into fruition now. Somebody's like, oh, I can't believe it. Ooh, ooh, she all on it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all. When I tell you, this is just so good. It's like, what are you doing here? Like, literally, what are you doing here? Like, somebody could show up to your home or something. You're just like, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Like, what do you want? Don't open up your door for somebody. Observer, they've been watching you. Somebody does not want to be orphaned. They don't want to feel alone, abandoned. How are you feeling alone or abandoned? Like, especially if this is someone from your past, like someone you used to date or something. Bro, that is, ain't that kind of funny how these people be out here cheating and shit and they claim that they're leaving you for someone else but then they turn around and everything just falls down? Where are these people that y'all be cheating with? Like, where are these mistresses, these mistresses? Worcestershire sauce is significant. <laughs> I can never pronounce that. But, like, where are all these people that you so confident in? Like, you got so much confidence in these um, people that you cheat with, that you, you know, lie, manipulate, and steal with. Where are all these people? All of a sudden, you're just in the corner by yourself. No, I don't think so. I don't think. I don't think so. Where are they? They were never there to begin with. Like these people never had your back for real. You fucked over the only person that had your back, and that's on you. And now you feel like a fucking idiot, but you are. Somebody just feels stupid, and they're trying to redeem themselves. They can't. They can't redeem themselves with you. The only way that they could, the only way somebody wouldn't feel so low in life with this grief fucking energy is if they made something right with you and you don't want to make anything right with them. That's what I'm saying. It's like, bro, can we get some different fucking energy other than a motherfucker feeling like they ain't worthy or something like that, bitch? That's how you fucking feel. People don't wake up feeling unworthy. We don't wake up feeling depressed. We don't go around depressed, miserable, sad, not knowing where we're going. Like, we, don't, we know God and everything, honey. Nobody is walking around like this but you. Not for you. Some people, it's their karma to never know the Lord. It's their karma to never know the grace of the Father. Some people, it's literally their karma. Because somebody plays games and they dabble in a lot of damn witchcraft. Like, damn, bitch, you got to do witchcraft for everything. That shit is kind of weird. Yeah, divine feminine. Somebody, somebody has to do witchcraft for everything, bro. When I tell you that shit, to me, is very weird. Like, you can't do anything on your own. You cannot produce nothing. You can't do anything without doing a spell. That is weird. Like, seriously. And then it's like you're always manipulating somebody else's peace. Like, you have nothing else to do. You're doing work constantly. This is every fucking day. Bitch, you have been trying to get a result that you have not seen yet homemates like oh you're not gonna see this whatever you're trying to have happen to this person is not happening obviously bitch there has already a, a decision that has been made like i'm seeing a weak ass slur asshole or a nigga in this energy and it's like they keep on trying to make something happen and it's not maybe they're trying to make you lose your home you're not losing your home though like what are you doing somebody really wants you put out into the streets put out into the streets for what you don't do anything to get put out. That's what I'm saying. They just don't want you having security. Somebody hates to see that you have somewhere to lay your head. That's weird. And it's like every single day doing work to make you homeless, doing work to make you lose your job, doing work to make you not have any money, doing work, just work, work, fucking work all day, every day. But no work on themselves and bringing chaos and confusion to their own life. It's like, baby, is it really worth it? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Somebody really wants to see you fall down. Treasure Island, and it's not happening. By the grace of God, it ain't happening, baby. I heard God willing. Straight up. Time for a nap. 
whatever is in God's will, that's what will indeed happen. Somebody needs to realize that. Somebody has to, like, you have to know that you don't run shit. A fated event will always be a fated event. It's fate. Like, that's, you cannot control fate. That's just what you will not do. Somebody could even be trying to, like, make you fuck your destiny up or something. Like, sending different type of people at you. Different type of energy so that you will get in certain situations here. Community. And then, you know, fuck your life up or something. But that's not happening either. I don't see it happening. TikTok, I, I just don't. I don't see it happening. I see you're getting, like, even more skilled every single day. A skewer is significant. Okay. Somebody could be going to an all-you-can-eat buffet, some kind of restaurant where you went there yesterday or something like that. This is just like insanity. I'm picking up on someone that is insane. This 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 in, this energy that this person has is insane. Milk and honey, all because of something that's yours. It's like a life that you were born to live and a life that you're going to live. That's just point blank. That's what the Lord said. That's what the Lord wrote. <laughs> He wrote it down, said he spoke it out loud. God already manifested this life for you and just so happened that you want the same thing. You enjoy being a good person. I don't feel like you want to be a messed up person. If you wanted to, you could. Trust that. If you wanted to turn into an evil, wicked witch or a warlock, you definitely could do the same thing and you will be even more powerful than these people. You're powerful with your light. Like You're more powerful than these people with your love. Just show regular old love, that, that God flow in love. Because it's, it's a regular thing to us, right? We're loving people anyways. But, I mean, you don't have to tell us or show us to be loving and caring. And you got to, these type of people, you got these hateful assholes and niggas like this. These are the type of people, they'll literally go at the Barnes and Noble and sit down for a few hours and read a book about how to love someone. Bitch, if you don't take your weird ass on, y'all motherfuckers studying love. You're studying how to love somebody. When people have that ability naturally, you don't have natural love. You don't, it's nothing natural about you. Everything you do is made up and it's practiced. <laughs> wealthy man, and then you got sudden wealth reverse. And somebody is not official. It could be this wealthy man. I don't know. It don't gotta be, but I've been picking up on this wealthy man with this sudden wealth energy. Or somebody's suddenly gonna be wealthy. They're gonna get the hell on. I don't blame you. Child, I would do the same exact thing. Filthy fucking rich or not. I will get the fuck up out of a community that's trying to take me out. Like, who the fuck will sit up here and live in a war zone? And then there's community again. I feel like somebody is jealous of every damn thing that you do. This is a male or a female. And some of y'all are divine feminists. The woman, like you're an actual feminine energy of woman imprisonment and you got a man and a woman or several different men several different women here they're all hating on you they all want to be you they all wish that they had your abilities they're all here like copying the privileged lady like i want to say again some grown ass men here straight up these are grown men copying you stealing yeah or they're trying to maybe somebody is concerned now because they cannot steal something from you don't know what they're trying to steal Lil Zane is significant. Lil Zane, Z-A-N-E. Y'all remember him, right? I know he was on that song. Um, he played on, he play, He definitely was an actor too. He played on, I think was the Parkers with uh, Monique and stuff. But he was, I'm seeing him from that video of uh, Anywhere by 112. Something here is just not going to go the way somebody is trying to make it go. It seems like it's this old bitch, too. This is an old witch that been in your energy for a long time. This has not left your energy. Like, if you think this old asshole left your energy and just left you alone to do what you do, you are sadly mistaken. This woman is always going to show up as a false person. For some of y'all, this is a mother figure. For some people. This woman is 68 years to fuck old up here hating on you or something like that. Trying to make sure that somebody does not come down your path with an offer or something like that. Because this bitch ain't never accomplished shit in her fucking life. Honey. And I just digress. I'm going to move around the fuck from that main male. I'm just, I'm just not even with it. It's like I'm sick and tired of seeing these old ass motherfuckers who's washed the fuck up, ain't did shit with their life, had every single chance to get their ass up and get something, do something, be someone, and they didn't do it. 
bitch, you did not do something. And it's point blank, period. And you just sitting around thinking of how to ruin somebody else because you didn't do something. That's your fucking neglect. You neglected yourself. You literally neglected yourself. You didn't care enough about your fucking self to get up and do what you needed to fucking do to build any wealth or anything like that. You're a thief. Because all you know is to be a thief and ass bitch. You've stolen from everybody you know. Unexpected income. Something you have always stolen or this person's always stolen. Even from your own child. You killed your own child, bitch, for money. Let's talk about that, too. You were expecting money. Like, take your dumb ass on, bitch. You just mad because you can't kill this person off for no fucking money. You want money, bitch. From a court situation, you want money. You're over there married. Why don't you get some money from your fucking husband? 27, 27 could be significant. The age of 30 is also significant, okay? Somebody is nothing but a fucking psychopath, and that's how I'm feeling about this. Change. <laughs> I feel like you see right through this cunt, and I feel like you see right through their plots, and you don't sit down at family gatherings or anything with none of these people because they all fake as fuck. And I feel like somebody's family here is jealous because you moved away from all of their asses because you're the realest fucking one. You don't give a fuck about none of the messages of concern. You don't care for the fake ass birthday wishes. You don't give a fuck about any of this shit, okay? I really feel like that. I feel like somebody is fake. I feel like somebody travels to you very often without your consent, without your knowledge. Somebody literally comes to your home when you're not there. It's like they come to your home just to speak curses over your home. Just weird shit. There it goes, right? There a house at the top of the deck, like I felt. Like, this is somebody that will literally come, like, they will travel to your house to speak curses over your house. Like, hey, where you at? Oh, I'm at work. Oh, okay. Not gonna tell you that they right the fuck outside your goddamn house doing work on your motherfucking house or they're, go they're about to stop by your house and throw something by your house or plant something near your door. Some of y'all, it's some shit up under your doormat or something. Like, this bitch sprinkles shit around your door. Like, this person will put some kind of powdery substance around your door. Also, too, like, somebody's gonna wake up. Like, your arm is gonna feel broken or something. I feel like, or this has happened already. It's warfare. Somebody is watching you in the spirit. It's like somebody is trying to cripple you in the spirit or something. Or you could simply be picking up on somebody close to you. Maybe you're going to find out that somebody in your family is injured or something. But I don't feel like you have an actual injury. I just feel like you can, you know, whoever you are, when you're in the dream state, I don't know what this is, but it's like you can physically feel what's going on. And if something is happening in your dream, you can feel that shit like in real time. So it's not really a dream, is it? Yeah, think about that. <laughs> it's not really a dream if you can like feel it physically, is it? It's a story that's the motherfucking truth. Is it really a dream? Hmm. Is it really a fucking dream, guys? We are dream girls. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Wands. Whoever y'all are, there's there's somebody working here to have you in a five of pentacles, like for real. Somebody does not want you having anything. I mean, like, nothing at all. Because they would rather them have it. The moon card reverse. It could be a Cancer here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. It's something here about pecan spin wheels or something like that. King of Swords reverse or something about, like, funnel cakes. Somebody could be going to the mall just walking around. I don't even feel like you're buying nothing. Not that you can't. I feel like you can afford... But you're just, you're probably just taking your kids, like somebody's taking their child to go look at some puppies or something. Your child may want a dog or something. Nine of Cups reverse. But it's a lot on you right now. I feel like the best thing you can do is get good rest and or get outside. Like, make sure you're not locking yourself in the house for a Cups reverse. I keep picking up this imprisonment energy. Somebody wants you to be a prisoner. you like in your own home and they're doing this shit from far away from you. This is literally somebody who is not anywhere near you. They're at a distance. I keep telling you that. I'm seeing that three of wands, world card energy again. This is someone at a distance constantly fucking working on you to keep you stuck somewhere where you don't belong. You're supposed to be branching out and expanding. You got the ten of pentacles here with the ace of fucking pentacles. It's all about your fucking money, about your wealth, and somebody is bringing problems to you. They have nothing to do with it. Like, whatever this is that you're creating, whatever this is you're about to create, or whatever you did create that's bringing in revenue, it has nothing to do with these people. You don't owe them a motherfucking thing, and they need to take their dumb asses on, because there is no success here. 
Like you will literally lose shit if you fuck with these people. You will literally start losing everything. It's like you will have your life together and then you will be wishing like, oh, I should have never did this or oh, I wish I can go back. After something has already, you know, the world card, like I just said, after something has already been done. And I mean, you can come back from anything. What I said, I feel like you can come back from a loss and you can definitely fall from a win. Like whatever the case is, you can always go the opposite way of what how you're going. So that's why you never take things, people, places or whatever, and especially not the most high for granted. You always act accordingly and you always be appreciative to a pinnacle. Somebody is just not appreciative. And I feel like somebody hates your work ethic tower. Like somebody hates the fact that you work or you work on yourself constantly. Like you're always worrying about you. You're not in other people's business. Somebody's mad at that. Like, oh, they don't have any drama in their life. I got all this drama in mine. Okay, bitch, that's your life. This is where that comparison in like stop comparing your life to other people, bitch. Because we're not going through the shit you're going through. Nobody wants to take on this drama hole. You go through that fucking drama, bitch. You hoes and niggas go through that drama. You bitches and niggas is out here can't walk away from motherfuckers that's cheating on you, bringing you diseases and shit. Ain't some fucking source, bitch. The illusions are over and the confusion is not. There is there's no confusion here to be had. Three of swords reverse. Motherfuckers is not walking around being traumatized when they don't gotta be. Y'all hoes are literally traumatizing yourself. You niggas are traumatizing yourself. You don't know how to walk the fuck away. That's your fucking problem. Bitch, get the fuck up out of here. The Empress is every queen. This woman has mastered herself. This man has mastered himself. And this person is extremely intuitive. So please take your dumb ass the fuck on. Like seriously. The high priestess in reverse. This high priestess is not revealing anything that they know. The high priestess does not um, reveal what they know. Why would she reveal anything to you? Who the fuck are you? You're a no goddamn body bitch. What else is here? And it's like damn why do I have to come and tell you stupid ass bitches and niggas the same shit all the motherfucking time. Virgo energy bitch. It's like you're always up in somebody else's fucking business instead of minding your own motherfucking business, bitch. Like, why in the fuck is somebody else's life more interesting than yours? Why is your life so boring and nothing, ho? Why don't you have nothing going on in your life? That is weird. But you got so much shit going on in your life. You got all these different people around you that don't serve you at the fuck all. You're holding the ten of fucking ones that don't even belong to you, but you're carrying it, you dumb bitch. Put it down. Nobody told you to carry this shit, you motherfucking running back who the fuck told you to carry this shit bitch you're carrying this on your fucking own strength with your big strong ass ho with your big strong ass neck and back and shoulders or whatever the fuck this is bitch this is you you want to carry it go ahead the three of pentacles in the fucking reverse you're carrying drama like somebody is carrying so much drama and then worried about you because you're at peace it's because you know how to walk away from people <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, you full of shit. You full of drama. I'm not dealing with you. Nah, I'm straight. I'm good on that, boo. I see what you got going on right now. Oh, you still dealing with exes? You still got addictions and shit? Nah, I'm straight. Let somebody else deal with you then. And when people are going through that kind of shit, I don't know why the fuck they always want to be around other people. Bitch, you need to go within yourself and heal from these addictions and whatever this is. You are toxic. You don't. You shouldn't be around anybody because you're going to fuck up everybody that you come into contact with. King of Cups. Then you got this Ace of Cups reverse. Like I said, this is a distorted ass King of Cups. This man does not love you. Whoever the fuck this is or this woman, whoever this is, you don't love this person or someone does not love you. There is absolutely no love here at all. For sure. Yeah, motherfuckers just in their bag. And I feel like this nigga is jealous as fuck of this woman's money. Like, it's a grown ass man jealous of this woman and her investments because she ain't investing shit in his sunny side head ass. No. This egghead ass nigga right here. You're, you're not investing anything in this egghead motherfucker. This ain't even an organic egg. This one of them motherfucking <laughs> Kroger great value eggs. The fuck? This egghead motherfucker right here. You're not investing in him. You're not. You don't want to invest in this person. This person is angry all the fucking time. Whoever this masculine energy is, they're weak. Ugh. Like, ew, bitch. Hell no. Somebody definitely plays the piano. Like, you play the piano very well. I just feel like if something does not stimulate your mind or if it does not stimulate your energy, it don't, you don't make it about that. Like, mm, well, that's just not on my frequency. I'm just going to leave it be. It's not on my frequency. I'm not going to deal with that. 
it's, it's not helping me to achieve anything in my life. You dig me? You're like listening to this, watching that, eating that, you know, um, going there, being with that person, smoking that, drinking this, popping that, shooting that, snorting that. That's not on my frequency. And somebody is envious as fuck of you because you know how to make wise decisions. <laughs> oh, well, I feel like these people need to get on that same frequency. They need to learn how to nurture themselves. You're very nurturing and somebody feels trapped because of it. Like, oh, well, if they nurture themselves, then I have to nurture myself because I'm sitting back watching everything that they fucking do. But instead, they're neglecting themselves. Somebody neglects themselves. Like somebody refuses to get in the fucking tub and then they face the consequences of being a stink bitch. Okay. You're wondering why you stink so bad. Bitch, go get in the motherfucking tub, ho. Go to the ER. I keep telling you, bitches. Go to the ER, ho. Something is wrong with you. That shit is just not going to go away. The only time you bitches is celibate or trying to practice celibacy is when your pussy stink, bitch. Let's talk about that, too. Healing. You need to really go and heal. Somebody, somebody feels like you're punishing them because you're healing. Meaning, when you heal, you cut everything and everybody off. It's like, uh-uh, no, this is this is me time. I don't have time for you. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to make time for you. This is my healing time. So I'm going to take this time out to heal. And I'm going to take as long as I fucking want to. What I said, child? You dig a real shoe? <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm going to take as long as I want to and need to to heal. You can be paranoid. You can be scared. I don't care. They don't have nothing to do with me. Your demons are not mine to fight. What you eat don't make me shit. And I don't care. Straight up. You do not care. Somebody needs to understand that somebody does not give a fuck. <laughs> like, for real. And that's, it's not saying that they don't have love and light. They don't give a fuck about what you're going through if it's going to jeopardize them. If it's going to jeopardize this person's progress and their healing and their ascension, they don't give a fuck. They will indeed become antisocial. They will stop being your friend very quick. Um, all of a sudden, they don't know you. All of a sudden, they don't remember something. Like, mm, they don't have time. And you just can't get mad at somebody. That means you have no boundaries. Somebody can come and run over you at any given time. <laughs> I told you somebody was at a distance from you. That, like these type of people that don't understand that you got boundaries and can't respect the fact that you have boundaries, that means they have none. They let their family run the fuck over them. They let everybody run over them. And they wonder why they ain't got no peace in their life. Because anybody can run the fuck over them. Somebody needs to go into isolation. Somebody is, like I said, too, at a distance. Didn't we see this yesterday? Somebody is literally at a distance trying to isolate you from far away, like trying to control your fucking life. They watch everything you do. And when they don't see something that they like, when they see something that they don't like, which is you moving forward, moving on or doing something, they go and start doing work on you. But they do work on you every day because it's like somebody wants you hidden. Hidden for what, bitch? I feel like if you want to hide, you will do that. You'll hide on your own if there was something to hide about. You don't owe nobody shit, so why are you hiding? Ow. Exhausted, yeah. Paper chasing money, hungry, damn it, I'm exhausted. Below 20 on my neck, zero degrees on the watches. Giving me his wallet and I hold it like a hostage. Tell this at a break fast, because I don't want your sausage. Cash him out, then throw him out. Plus the head was garbage. Niggas want to marry me, get wetter than a faucet. Float, float playing games, so I treat him like a cartridge. This is the feminine energy as well. Somebody is puzzled. They're confused, longing, wanting to talk. You don't want to talk. Why cannot? Why somebody can't respect the fact that you just don't want to talk? This is probably permanent. What I said, child. This is like a permanent block. Like you never want to speak to someone again. Never. And I don't feel like you hate them or anything. You, they're just not on your frequency and they're never going to get on your frequency. Even if they got on your frequency, they're still not on your frequency. Like they're not your type. Somebody has proven to be a motherfucking snake or something like that. And you're just like, nah, I'm good. Somebody does not understand their betrayal is why they are in the cold. They're in, they're, they're, somebody's feeling left out in the cold simply because of their betrayal. They betrayed the fuck out of you and they thought they were going to come back and walk around and see your world. This is a narc. This is somebody who swears that they're hot shit or something. Bitch, I guess you just die real then. Like, if you so hot shit, why don't you go get somebody else then? Why are you constantly focused on this person? Like, you're really trying to destroy somebody's life right here. But you you just end all, be all motherfucker. Why don't you go get you somebody better, man? You can't. You fucking weirdo. This clingy ass fucking ex of yours. Like, I feel it's something here about boundaries. You have boundaries up. 
this person does not know boundaries and or they do not respect them. And that shit is kind of strange for somebody to still be lingering in your energy since 2017. This shit is weird. Maybe even before that, I heard 2015, somebody has been just lingering in your motherfucking energy. Like they will not get the fuck out of your business. Maybe because you glow up, okay? There's a glow up here and they're trying to stagnate you. So you could be feeling stagnant, stuck, confused. Like, why is something not working? Like, my life should be moving forward. Why in the fuck am, you know, I feeling stuck? Or why do I feel like nothing is transpiring? Like, why are the things that I'm putting in, why is nothing growing? It's going to change rapidly. I feel like just get out of this energy sipping. You have to realize what's going on and rebuke it. You have to pray these types of things away. You didn't reach you. When you're a prayer warrior, when you really truly believe in the most high God, you go to the most high God for everything. You don't ever go outside of God for anything. And when you recognize what the hell is going on, you'll be able to fix whatever the problem is. Where that money at, spirit? What else is here? I feel like somebody is a demon. That's what I feel. Somebody is a born demon. I don't feel like this person was body snatched or anything. They were born a fucking demon. You have to be born with the envy of spirit. The Lord does not birth the spirit of envy. So, like, what are you doing? Like, how are you a God when you're envious? I don't see that. When you have any uh, depression, envy, jealousy, hatred, anything like that, you are not of the most high God because God does not vibrate in those energies. That is not the spirit holy. That is not the Holy Spirit, sweetheart. So you really need to reevaluate something in your world and get the hell about this person's business, bitch. Because it's all about your dumb asshole. And I feel like some bitch just does not understand that you're the problem. Trying to get rid of someone and become them is not going to solve anything, bitch. You need to worry about yourself. This person is going to propel. They're going to go for it. You're not. You're stuck in time looking like a motherfucking fool, bitch. And you need to stop fucking watching me, ho. Because I'm tired of reading your dumb ass, bitch. I'm tired of your stupid ass coming up in these fucking people energy, bitch. You need to learn how to live on your own two feet, ho. Get your ugly ass the fuck up and go do something with yourself, bitch. What else is here? You ugly ass fucking slur. Puzzle. Y'all bitches are fucking ugly. You're ugly as fuck. Your spirit is ugly. You're fucking ugly. And it's just weird. Yeah, soulmate. It's just like something here is so fucking strange. Somebody has a very ugly ass spirit, bro. And I don't give a fuck if you feel you're attractive. You're not, bitch. You're ugly as fuck. And any man can see it. They can see the witch in you, the Jezebel. You show your true colors every single time, which is very dark. Every color, 50 shades of black, bitch. Toxic. Straight the fuck up. Dark. Just envious. Boundaries. Here we go again. Mad at this divine masculine. Because you're over there suffering. Don't know how to pay your fucking bills. But you've been sitting back doing work on this man though. You're trying to make him come back to you. This man does not want anything to do with you. Let him go on about his business. You fucked up with this person. Let it go. You need to really take some as a loss right here, ho. Count it as a loss. This man is not coming back. Coming back to what? You're nothing to come back to. I don't care how long you go in the gym. I don't give a fuck if you change your life around. This man is done with you. You've done too much to him. Go be a better version of yourself or somebody else. That's what I'm saying. This man is done with your raggedy ass, bitch. Nigga, this woman is done with you. She doesn't care if you've changed. Great. Good. What are you doing? Whatever you've done to this woman, it's not good enough for her to take you back. Whatever you've done to this man, like you've done spiritual work on this person. This person is never going to fuck with you. You have burned bridges and that's period. Fam masculine, I feel like this is somebody who is hopeful that you will become intimate with them. You're not. This is like somebody that wants to get back into your life. They want to be back in your life. And you're just like, fuck no. And I see why. <laughs> somebody tries to like literally sacrifice you at a railroad or something. Like they, they took, they, they didn't give a fuck about you, your family, your house, your, your car, whatever, like all your bills and shit. They went to get a financial gain off your energy. They tried to take something that you were inheriting and they put you up as a sacrifice. They didn't give a fuck if you lived, died, whatever the fuck. They didn't care if something bad happened to you or anything. They didn't care. And now they want to be with you because they're looking at you what, as strong. Okay. Like, damn, that person's stronger than me. Wow, I need to be on that person's team. This person is even, like, you could be having, like, excruciating headaches or you were. This motherfucker right here is trying to make you forget the fuck those shit that they did to you. What? 
feel like so that they can come into your life and just act like nothing ever happened. You're not going to forget a fuck thing that this person has done. I don't feel like you just sitting back holding a grudge. Maybe you are. But I don't, whoever you are, I feel like you move on easily. You don't hold grudges. Because everybody know that grudges bring stress and stress kills. You're not struggling, stressed about someone that you're not worried about. That's what I'm saying. How can you be stressed about someone that's truly played the fuck out? Why? Who sits around being stressed out about somebody who they have absolutely no contact with at all and have no plans on contacting at all? Yeah. Fishing for comments. They're all up in your comment section. It's weird. So you could be getting some kind of praise right now, some kind of attention. Yeah, these are a bunch of groupies, like I feel. Your exes are now groupies. These fake friends, they're groupies. These wannabe family members, they're groupies. All of these people are groupies. These people can't do nothing but sit back and watch and consume your content just like someone else. A stranger on the street. These people cannot pick up the phone and call you. They cannot have a conversation with you. They can't do any of that shit. They're not permitted. Yeah. You're very interesting right now. It's a lot of people screenshotting even something. Somebody could be screenshotting offers that you're getting. Like, it's people up in your comments saying, hey, I want to work with you. Motherfuckers is screenshotting shit and then going to try to curse it. What? Girl, bye. So, like I said, if you've been feeling like something ain't right, marrying for money, your person got a lot of bread. Cream, uh, queen rising. It's my name, cream. Cream. Or it's talking about lifesavers, cream savers, divination abuser, like I feel. Somebody is definitely doing work on you, like, so that you cannot move from somewhere because they want to keep monitoring you. Somebody has gotten too used to monitoring something that you're doing. Yeah, mad because you're not losing your car. Like, what the, who's trying to make you lose your car? They didn't pay for this car. They don't pay for your car. Somebody does not get up and hustle every day for nothing that you have. So, like, why are they trying to control it or make you lose something? That's weird. Like, you don't have any... Bitch, you don't got any um, say-so over this person's world at all. Somebody does not have any say-so of what goes and comes in your life. That's crazy. Legal issues. But they're trying to control it. Somebody could even try to have you wrapped up in a court situation, calling child fucking services and shit because you're, you're having views and shit. Okay. So you could be... They wasting their time, though. They're going to close this case. But somebody is going to call child services on you simply because you're having a lot of views. You look really good or something like that. Somebody's trying to claim that your children are in danger. There is absolutely no indication that your kids are in danger. You're actually a very good mother or a father. I feel like you got a house full of fucking food. These kids got their own bedroom. They got clean clothes and shoes. And they getting plenty of love from you and their father. Yeah, so it's somebody dirty. Somebody is clout fucking hungry or they're mad because you got a lot of clout or something. Just be ready for that. <laughs> like, I feel like you've gone through this before. Maybe with these YouTube fucking trolls, fuck. It is always these fucking idiots on YouTube. Like, these, these people on YouTube do that stuff. They'll call CPS, get CPS involved in your home. I've had that happen to me before. And I rebuke you bitches in the name, honey. I just rebuke you because you're, you're dirty as fuck. And you be the same hoes that got kids. It be these same bitches that got kids. And trust and believe me. CPS end up coming to take their kids from them, though. <laughs> like, it always, whatever goes around, it definitely does come back. And you, whoever you are, you don't move like this. It's a bunch of idiots from fake accounts doing some stupid fake shit. And there's that jackpot. They jealous. <laughs> I was just mad. I was mad because I make they rent money in my strings. <laughs> Cop blocking ass bitches. Y'all hoes are so dumb. And this person is unfazed by you impersonating, too. Somebody could be trying to literally spark up some kind of legal investigation on you after they've been literally impersonating you, stealing from people lying with these fake ass charities or something like that. Like somebody, somebody is creating GoFundMe's or something in your name and then like spreading it out, promoting it as if it's you. Somebody could be saying that they're promoting something on your behalf. Because they're broke as fuck. And this bitch or this nigga is holding grudges because they're broke. If they had money in their pocket and they had true abilities to create, they wouldn't be holding grudges on anybody. Somebody wants to argue. They want to compete. They want to fight. Girl, bitch, bye. Bitch, please. And then cry. Cry from a black eye. Yep, dirt digging. Somebody is trying to ruin your reputation with a jar. Like, they're doing jar work on you, but you still win. Something is old. Like, the frequency of something is old, basically. 
Like, if they would have done all this, like, maybe somebody is more spiritually inclined now than they were back then. Maybe you dig a shoe. If they knew what they know now back then, maybe they could have buried you with this jar. But now you are so spiritually powerful that whatever they're doing, you have not done anything to them to warrant this. So that's for one. The spirit is not honoring this because it's not valid. <laughs> like, something is just, the statute of limitations is way past time. This shit is petty as fuck. Somebody gonna try to come kissing your ass only to argue with you so that they can have a fresh argument to go and try to cyber bully you or bother you in the spirit and you're still unbothered. Be careful of arguing with people because some of these people are from your past are coming back just to simply have a reason to go in the spirit and attack you because they their magic is not working. Yeah, this cloud hungry rat bitch right here. And like I feel, if somebody is coming to you and antagonizing you or attacking you, you got every right to defend yourself for real for real fuck being cute fuck being clean with it fight dark, dirty like these bitches and these niggas fucking playing dirty i feel like you can fight and dirtier i feel like you're stronger than them so you yo your hits are heavy you're a heavy fucking hitter period <laughs> and that's what i feel queen rising yep somebody got some bad habits that they need to they need to deal with this the color teal is significant somebody named teal uh-huh yeah same shit different days with spirit said giving money yeah somebody wants someone to give them money or something broke bitches these hoes ain't got no skill no trade nothing no assistance nothing they just sitting back waiting for somebody to give them something nobody's going to do that i don't even feel like people give you anything whoever you are you work for your shit this is chestnut checkers boo this gang chest they play is sorry. Living life for today and tomorrow. Dog ass old be sick. That's parvo. When you having it, no need to borrow. Pretty as fuck, remain unbothered. And you got unbothered right the fuck here. Pretty as fuck, remain unbothered, Divine Feminine. You're pretty as fuck, boo. Remain unbothered because these hoes are bothered. For sure. All my pretty girls dropping 100 in the motherfucking comments. And that's point blank. It's a bunch of broke-ass bitches attacking y'all. Us, shall I say. Because I'm definitely another pretty girl. But, girl, it's like, for what, honey? Because they want a fake fucking place. They really ain't got shit going on. Somebody is not shit. I'm telling you. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. They're not shit. They're not. Or this is you, Okay. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Remember that God loves you. So do I. You guys have a great day. And I will see you in the next reading. Okay.